Hi guys, this is Zed again from Zed Surfing Adventures with your daily tip. Today we're going to be putting a leash on a surfboard and showing you just how to do that. There are three parts to a leash. There's the ankle strap, which is this part here. There's the leg rope, which goes in between the ankle strap and the last part, which is the rail saver. Now, the rail saver is tied onto the board by a, by a rope, which is tied onto this part of the board. And it has Velcro on either side, and it overlaps over the rope, and then overlaps like that to secure, to secure it to the board. And when you come right up, it's connected to the leg rope by a swivel. And this swivel here stops this rope from tangling up like that. So it keeps rolling and spinning around. Now if we go right up this leg rope, you'll come right up to the ankle strap and then you'll find another swivel. And this helps the leg rope from not from tangling. The ankle strap is also it's made of a nice padding to go around your ankle. It has Velcro on that side and like that. So it makes it nice and snug and it holds onto your ankle pretty well. A little added bonus to these ankle straps is the, it's a little pocket right here. What that does is that you can, you can put money or you can put a key or anything in there that you need to secure and take with you surfing. Fold it over, lap it right over like that. There you go. So the first thing we need to do is put the rope on. Right at the back of the board, you'll see like a, this is a leash plug. And the rope goes through there. Let me put it on from here, the back. And pull it right through. You wanna put it pretty equal. Do it about halfway. And just fold it over, tie a knot. This will hold it good and strong like that. And then you wanna leave enough thickness like that, that the rail saver can get inside there. Okay? You, wanna, you don't wanna do it too long that the rope is hanging over the side of the board because this will cut through the board. Okay, this is the purpose of a rail saver. Well, let's put that rail saver in there and get this leash put on right now. You're gonna open up the rail saver by open the Velcro right up and hit it right up here. Slip it through just like that and bring it equally like that so that we can get the Velcro on both sides to, to bond each other squeezing them in tight, and then lap it over. Make sure it's good and secure, because this is what's keeping your board to you, okay? Now once you've got this leash on, you want to check it for any breaks. Um, if it's not a new leash and it's a, it's a second-hand leash or an old leash that you're putting on, just want to run and check through the leg rope and make sure you don't have any breaks. The last thing you want to do is go surfing and lose your board. Check the swivels, make sure everything is good. Make sure the Velcro on the ankle strap is good and hold in tight and firm. Open it, and there you go. Now, there's a correct way to put this on. Fold it over, make sure the Velcro is nice and snug. And this part here that sticks out to the leg rope, that has to be the outside of your foot pointing straight out. This is so that you don't step on it when you're, when you're surfing. It sticks right out, points right at the back of the board. Okay folks, so three points to remember before we head into the water. Check the rope that ties the leash onto the board. Make sure there's no breaks and it's in good condition. Check your leg rope right through. Make sure there's no breaks or no knots. And the Velcro on both the rail saver and the ankle. Make sure it's holding firmly. This is Zed from Zed Surfing Adventures with your surfing tip of the day.